Hello, this is John. When we run a simulation scenario with learners who are practicing clinicians, they may freeze in front of the parameters monitor and try to interpret the presented graphic and data. This can be due to the digital noise or hiccups of the mannequin's parameters. I found two digital noise or hiccups that may disturb clinicians' immersive learning in high fidelity simulation. They are 1. Lack of transition between stages and 2. Lack of physiological touch with parameter fluctuations. The first example is commonly seen with the on-the-fly mannequin operations. Without progressive parameters changes, the stage changes appear abrupt and random. Hence, the patient monitor may lose the fidelities in the clinician's eye. With on-the-fly operations, the abrupt and random parameters manipulation is reflected in the prediction window in LIPS. To overcome the weakness of on-the-fly operations, some program scenarios use parameters transitions to mimic the progressive hemodynamic changes without reflecting the physiological fluctuation. In the example of lack of physiological touch, the 180 beats per minute ventricular tachycardia turned into a 180 beats per minute sinus rhythm before the heart rate decreased to 140 beats per minute. Instead of rhythm conversion, the decreasing heart rate gives the learner an impression of ventricular tachycardia is treated with rate control approach. Let us have a close look of the last portion of this video. A brief pause was inserted after the ventricular tachycardia followed by progressive gain in heart rate, blood pressure and saturation. The ventricular tachycardia conversion treatment produced a rhythm conversion parameter swing. That's all for this video. Let me know if you like this video and hope that this will enhance the fidelity of your next simulation.